Hello everyone, Sunyan here. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to draw a cloud uh, using Python and Turtle. Now this is a bit inspired by No Man's Sky where, you know, fractal geometry, recursion and some random number generators put together entire planets. And I thought, well, what's the simplest thing we can do? And I thought of this cloud. And this video is actually going to be um, a bit of a preview of my upcoming course called Computational Thinking in Python, which is going to follow from Python Fundamentals. Uh, I'm going to post a link to Python Fundamentals like somewhere. It'll be a playlist. It's all free here on YouTube. So let's let's have a look at how we're going to do this. Um, so I, I got us started by importing random and turtle because we'll be using those libraries. I have uh, selected uh, a shape turtle for the turtle. Uh, the turtle color is going to be white and the background color is going to be sky blue. Now, if I run this program, F5, this is what we're going to get. So first thing we're going to try is we're going to try to draw a circle and then a half circle and then a series of half circles and then the series is going to wrap around each other until it forms a cloud and we'll figure out how to close the last edge. So the way we draw a circle is simply you go forward and turn, forward and turn and, and that way you sort of wrap around um, a certain central point. So it's just going to go turtle dot forward um, and then you go how many pixels like I don't know one turtle dot left one and this needs to obviously be in a loop so it needs to be repeating on and on and for i in range so since we're turning one degree um 360 degrees is going to wrap us uh, all the way around and let's just see if this works oh yeah so that's drawing a circle and it's going to draw it 360 degrees and let's just try while we're in it um to have a look if we can fill uh, the color so the way we're going to do that and by the way, on the other page, I have um, a turtle reference. So this is a bit organic. I'm usually, I usually have the program pre-written before I do it, but here I've just done prep. I've looked at the turtle libraries and, and uh, I wanted to share the excitement of being able to do this for the first time with you guys. So yeah, turtle dot, we already have, we need to specify turtle dot fill color here. And that's going to be white too. And then we're going to have turtle dot begin fill. Uh, it's an underscore. And turtle dot end fill. So let's see. Yeah, that worked. Um, and since that's going to be sort of our model, maybe I can just go turtle. I think it's turtle dot hide turtle dot hide. Let me have a look. Hide. Yeah. So it's turtle dot hide turtle. Where's my hide? Yeah, turtle dot hide turtle. So turtle dot hide turtle. And this time when I run it, the turtle should disappear at the end. And so we're gonna have our starting code and our finishing code, and now we're gonna have to figure out how to simplify it. So the first thing I can think of is that the arc is too big. So we're gonna need to get that turtle to turn tighter. And I'm going to change this to three degrees. Um, and it can also run faster. So if it was going to, let's see, let's see. If we turned nine and went forward three pixels, it's just three pixels. Okay, that's a, 
obviously we shouldn't be repeating it so much. So if we're turning 9 degrees, 360 divided by 9, Forty F five. That's good. Okay, so semicircle would be twenty, and then that that there would be a function. We can call it semicircle. Okay, so that's a semicircle function. And we are going to put our function definitions above the begin fill. So in effect, this is our program. Here. So if we say semi-circle. So this is going to draw half a circle and stop. Oh, and it fills it. Wow, we don't even have to sort of match the last bit. Let's have a look. You know, this program could be even easier than I thought. Okay, so if we were to run, say, 10 semicircles uh, for I uh, in range. Okay, there's a problem. So after we draw a semicircle, we must turn 180 degrees in order not to continue drawing that same circle. We must stop their turn and then continue this way. So semicircle, turtle, how did that happen? Turtle dot left 180. Okay. That should be a straight line up, but I'm not going to question it. <laughs> okay, um, so what if we wanted it to wrap around? What if we did like 230? That's a bit too much, but that's... That's much faster than expected. That's a pretty quick cloud. Okay. So, what if, instead of turning 230, what if we were to generate a random number? So, um, I'm just going to come up with a function that says turn random and I'm gonna define it here as takes in and we can take in an input that's sort of gonna here we can make it a bit more advanced turn random we can call this max turn so we're going to have a random number equals to random dot rand int zero comma max turn. And then we're going to turtle dot. So are we going left again? So what am I doing? I'm turning 180 degrees plus the max, plus the range of the max turn. Turtle dot left 180 plus rand. Okay. So turn random and if the, the maximum extra wrap is like 40 degrees, that should be... See, it should be a bit randomized. It's not even. So it's not a perfect circle. That's exactly what I was going for. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, 
And I suppose the the next level to this would be sort of wrapping the end uh, a little bit tighter, a little bit better. And what we can do here is, as things stand, we could just add another, we could add another loop that's exactly like this, except in the semicircle, we could do a slightly different semicircle, the one that sort of checks the distance to the to zero zero. So semicircle check. And this is gonna be the function called semicircle check. You're gonna like it. And what am I gonna do here? I will forever check if turtle dot distance to zero comma zero um, is less than a hundred. So if, if the distance to the starting point is less than a hundred, then we're gonna go straight back to the center. go to zero zero and when we get there we're going to end fill we're going to hide turtle and we should take like we should try to get this to be the end of the program um, but if we return See, I don't think break is going to work here. Let's just try this. Let's just try this. So we can keep this one going forever in theory. Um, let's see. And I don't know if 100 pixels is too much or too little. Oh, are you going to come back home? Are you going to wrap around too tight? Too loose? There you go. That was 100 pixels. That is a randomly generated cloud. That was easier than I expected. Um, I think I'm going to play around with this some more. Uh, I'm going to today or even tomorrow at the latest I'll present you guys with a better program where I'm going to also randomly vary the radiuses so the the, the the folds are going to be different and I'm going to try to populate the whole screen with clouds so maybe I'm gonna on average make a tighter radius and I'll put a cloud here a cloud there a cloud there so they'll probably take a, at least half an hour of messing around but um, how interesting is that? That was much easier than I expected. Um, stay tuned. And by the way, I'm just going to leave you all with a challenge. If you can bridge this gap rather than a straight line with an arc, post it in the comments. I will find you, track you down, and give you this whole course for free if you can do that. I, I, I think um, that's the only not so easy challenge that I see at the moment with this tutorial. Okay, have fun guys.